Greetings, YouTube. I was just uh, finally watching the new Black Widow movie, which, uh, if you can say a word that rhymes with average at best, which is technically three words, that's what I would give that movie. You know, it had such a great opening scene. And then when you fast forward 21 years, it's like, that should have been the movie. I would have loved to see how Black Widow started as a kid and turned into the most, uh, excuse the French because I know it's a family friendly channel, but I think it's a family friendly word, badass female superhero in the Marvel Universe sorry Captain Marvel movie you don't you, you just seem like you know you were amazing and infinitely powerful immediately so I feel like Black Widow has far more of a uh, character arc in the MCU than Captain Sparkles anyhow with that being said I was watching that uh, movie and Brian Shadow Strike messaged me with an Alliance War Season 28 update forum post link. And I just, uh, I just gotta say, I think Kabam made another right move with this. Because it would be tempting for them to push this content out. Because, of course, they want money. And Alliance War makes them some money, though I've been told at the top, not really. Because they're just too good at the game, so they're not going to spend units or cash to get revives and potions. I don't know if that's true or not, because I've been Alliance War free for a couple years now. And very proud of that Alliance War sobriety. But uh, anyhow, this was supposed to start very, very soon. But just like so many things Kabam has done in the past couple days or weeks or even this past month, they've had to scale back expectations of future content because they know that parry and dexterity are still broken and will be until at least the August patch which comes out the first week of August. So even though it had all of these announcements for Alliance War Season and I know that some of you have told me that you're actually excited to see these changes because Alliance War is the only reason why you still play this game. I've had people tell me that behind the scenes like, Prof, I know you don't like Alliance War, but just know if it, if it went away, I would uh, absolutely not play the game anymore. And you can see live August 4th, 2021. Ties suck. There are way too many of them in, in high tier war right now. So we are going to track the total in fight, du in fight duration of all members of an alliance to break ties. Note the time tracking starts when you get the fight call out. So the visible in fight timer will disagree with the recorded duration by four, is that tenths of a second? I don't know. The length of the run of animations. There are no points for this and it will only be checked against the standard scoring results in a tie. All I know is that when I used to do Alliance War, I would jump in and then my game would crash. And so I don't know how that's supposed to be scored. Anyhow, everything says August 4th now in this post. Instead of live July 21st, right? It's August 4th. But um, the bottom line is, once I scroll all the way to the bottom of this post, please note that the start date for Alliance Wars Seasons 28 will be postponed until further notice. Due to the existing parry issues... Our team felt it necessary to delay the start of the season to ensure fair and optimal playing conditions for all players. Again, Kabam could have been like, ah, we'll make money off of it regardless, who cares? But they did the right thing. They took a step back for the sake of their player base. We apologize for any inconveniences and thank you for your continued patience. We will update this thread when we have more updates to share. Perfect. So today is indeed July 28th and that is when this post happened. Some of you might be actually itching to get back to Alliance War and check out new changes and see things, and that all makes sense, especially if Alliance War is the reason why you still play this game. But I, for one, am here to tell you that what you want to do is wait until this content doesn't have the broken bugs that it does, because nothing's more frustrating than costing your Alliance points because the game is broken. And we have seen that in all aspects of the game and in all realms of content so um yeah i just thought it was worth noting that this is another w as in win in uh in the kabam book today we got some solid compensation which look if you're like me and all the revise and potions are going to go into the overflow just wait to claim them until like a week or two that's what i'm doing it's going to be a new in-game inbox 
message icon for at least another seven days if I can help it. But until then, I'm happy to see that this is delayed and this is the right move and hopefully we can all agree on that. And for the people who are just going to complain regardless, you're addicted to outrage and you should probably take a look at that because your psychology is warped. Until then, until next time, have a good one. And hey, I've got a live, live stream coming up in about an hour. Last live stream for a week. So hopefully you can stop on by and we can have some fun.